is now back in session at Bakersfield College, and you might be surprised by the people you see in the classroom. 23 ABC's Lindsay Adams joining us this morning with a look at the average age of this year's student and how the school's becoming a leader in adult education. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Mike and Aaron. After last month's get bus strike, Bakersfield College officials were worried that not as many students would be able to get to class, but since that's over with, classes are almost completely full with more adult classes being offered. Okay. Graduated in high school in 1967. Back then you didn't need a degree in anything. And the only reason that I'm coming back for a degree today is because we've got to have something beside our name. Classes are back in session this fall at Bakersfield College and it's not the same student body you're used to. Officials say the majority of the students at the college are now in their mid-20s or older. You're going to see students of all ages walking campus and our average age is into the mid-20s in the average semester. To meet the demand, the college has added about 16 new classes and predicts more than 18,000 students will enroll. Among them, new courses geared towards mature students who want a change in career paths like agriculture and and business. Plant propagation, animal science, and other agricultural careers. But we have engineering, we have welding, we have CAD drawing and drafting. Matthew worked in nuclear power for 25 years. He's now going back to school to manage his own power plant. Sat across the table from Mayor Harvey Hall uh, two years ago, and he pointed his finger at me and said, You're going to run this. And I said, Okay, I will, which meant coming back to school so that I have a degree. And the spokesperson for Bakersfield College says there are still some spots left in the more basic prerequisite courses like math and English. And you can still register online at bakersfieldcollege.edu. Back to you guys.